is Nika Shakarami. <laughs> was a 16-year-old girl who joined the protests in the streets of Tehran after the murder of Massa Amini and then she disappeared for 10 days mysteriously. The protests intensified throughout the night and she got separated from her friends and family. After she was separated in her last known communications, she told her friends that she was being chased by security forces then all of a sudden her phone was switched off and her Instagram and Telegram accounts had been completely deleted. Her family searched for her tirelessly and then eventually 10 days later they found her body in a morgue at a local detention center. Her nose had been completely smashed in. Her skull was broken from multiple blows. Her family was told that she was briefly held in Evin prison, which is the prison I told you about, the prison for political dissidents, and then that she died from falling from a great height. This is exactly what these girls are risking when they go out there to protest. They will be executed and then the families and the media will be told that there was an accident, that they fell. That's exactly what they said about Massa Amini, that she had a heart problem. The authorities then pressured her family into not having a burial service, then stole her body and buried it miles away so that they could hide what they had done to her. She was laid to rest on her 17th birthday. I'm so tired. No woman, no girl, no child deserves to be killed just for asking for their basic freedoms. After Nika was killed, her family were arrested for speaking about it, for tweeting about it. Her uncle was forcibly made to appear in a video telling the world that this didn't happen. These people are threatened with death, torture, dismemberment if they don't comply with these forcible communications with the world telling them that this is not happening in Iran and everything's fine so that the world stops paying attention and that is why we must we must keep telling their true stories the stories of exactly what we know is happening they cannot control us and our voices so when they steal their voices we have to be the voices for them